What's up everybody, it's me Jeffrey from Critter Squad Wildlife Defenders and today we've been in the studio trying to get some awesome footage of these arachnids and their amazing features. You guys might not know it but scorpions have so many cool features and we have some awesome videos coming up for you guys to see. All right, Defenders, now this guy right here is called an emperor scorpion. And emperor scorpions are one of the largest species of scorpions. Now scorpions are arachnids, which means they actually have eight legs. So these guys will use those eight really cool legs to crawl around on the ground, and they can even use their feet to help climb on rocks. How do they do that? They have these little things on the ends of their feet called tarsi, which are little tiny hooks. And those little tiny hooks will grab into porous surfaces like the edge of this pedestal and allow them to climb. Scorpions are all distinguishable by their big long tail with their stinger on the end of it and these big huge pinchers that they have in front. Now they use those pinchers to actually subdue their food or for protection and they also use their stinger for protection as well. Many people think that scorpions kind of use their stinger all willy-nilly and they actually don't. They save their stinger for very last minute purposes like defending off a predator or fighting off something that may be too big that they tried to eat. Scorpions are insectivores, which is a type of carnivore that specializes in eating just bugs. So this guy uses these little pinchers right here to subdue his prey long enough for him to eat it. Now these guys love eating all kinds of things from crickets to worms, and we were even feeding them a dubia roach right here on the set. Now we always get the question, what actually eats scorpions? They have those pinchers and that stinger. Man, you'd imagine that nobody wants to eat these guys, but there's quite a few things that would have no problem eating a scorpion. One of those could be a wild dog, like a coyote or even birds or even other inverts. Maybe a bigger scorpion would eat a smaller scorpion or other things like tarantulas might come along and have a blast trying to eat one of these guys. Scorpions are burrow dwellers, which means that they spend their time living underground in burrows that are created by other animals, and depending on the scorpion species, they'll even create their own burrows. Scorpions have hairs all over their body, and they use those little hairs to sense vibrations in the air when they're living down in their burrows. This gives them a chance to figure out whether they have some company from a predator or not. Now believe it or not, scorpions tend to strike fear in the heart of people, but they're actually great moms. This little mama scorpion will let all the babies jump right on her back and she will carry them around, protect them, and even find food for them. Once they're too big, they'll fall off and they'll have to live their own life. So the most distinguishable feature of a scorpion is their tail. And right on the end of the tail is their stinger. So when necessary, this guy will use his stinger to subdue prey or ward off any potential predators. Scorpions come in many different colors, but under a UV light, they all glow a bluish green. Scientists aren't sure why they glow, but it has to do with the chemical in their exoskeleton. This phenomenon makes it easy to study scorpions in the wild at night. All you need is a UV flashlight and you'll see them light up. Emperor scorpions like this guy prefer it dark and gloomy, so we're gonna get this guy out of this bright set back into his enclosure. We hope you guys enjoyed all the awesome footage. See you guys later, Defenders. <laughs>